What's good, everybody? Uh, Double Rats here, back from another video. Uh, today we're looking at another major kill video, Black Shields. Uh, for the, uh, learn about. I never heard about the Black Shields at all. I don't shoot. As long as we've been covering Warhammer, never heard of them. So uh, we're gonna check them out, see what they hear. Before we get into the video, uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, guys. Make sure uh, hit that like button. It helps us know that y'all join the video. Want to see more videos like this? One, hit the like button. Also, guys, uh, I can't stop saying guys. Like, gosh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to not saying that as much. Uh, we do. Uh, we try to uh crank out uh, Star Wars videos, guys. We still do Warhammer. We start. We started to do game trailers as well, guys. Uh, we can do anime sometimes. Time if for you time. want anime, if you want anime too, guys. So let us know if you want to see more of those videos. Uh, you support us on our Star Wars videos, guys. Uh, me, with me, the like, hit the like button on those videos also. Uh, and let us know, guys, what kind of game trailers you want us to watch. So we can watch game, game, gameplay trailers as well. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see any of those, guys. God dang it! <laughs> what, what what I, that, I know. What I first do asking into the video. Mm. It's a pretty chaotic time. Half the galaxy turning on each other can be a bit confusing. Many space marines only found out about their Primarch and Legion betraying the Emperor halfway through the heresy, as there were thousands of space marines from various legions scattered around, either garrisoning worlds, scouting, or on special missions. Many of these guys were not super down with the whole traitor vibe. However, since they were now technically enemies of the Imperium due to their legion, they found a solution. Scrubbing their armor clean of insignia and painting it black, hmm. more or less renouncing yeah, their legion. <laughs> this also went both ways. With some loyalty. But don't that still mark you as you that guy because you don't want to go by that, right? Unless everybody who got uh, yeah, not a part of Imperium yeah. no more, yeah, right? Yeah. It's becoming a black shield in order to fight for the traitors. Overall, it's super interesting, but also kind of confusing. So definitely worth talking about. Also, yes, I am now blonde. I thought I would, you know, give it a whirl. Hopefully it ends up being more of a Sanguinius vibe and less of a Fulgrim vibe, but we will see. I'm getting it cut to most, so that should make me look less like a German villain. An unforeseen side effect is that my pre-recorded sponsored segments are about to look a lot less seamless. For example, before we get started, I've never been much of a mobile gamer, but I still have a couple on the go for when I'm traveling around and don't just want to doom scroll Reddit. One of those games is today's sponsor, Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. I actually downloaded this game when Moist Critical promoted it on his channel, and I was very impressed with how much content there actually is in the game. Sure, on one hand, it's a hero collector fantasy RPG with cool graphics and fun high octane combat gameplay. I mean, just look at that. But more than that, it's also a dating shagging simulator, as you strategically make your heroes bone in order to create new more powerful hybrids. You can even bone your own heroes to create an heir. Not sure how that works, the charging port isn't quite big enough, but hey, I'm not going to question a good thing. This isn't just some gimmicky side feature. There are over 1,000 potential hybrids that you can My create and bring into battle. So to get started with a great sign-up bonus, which includes one summoning crystal, 100k gold, and 100 diamonds, worth about $20, then use my link or scan the QR code on screen. Cheers to Bloodline Heroes of Lithus for sponsoring this video. Today we'll go over the lore of the Black Shields, looking at their origins, how they evolved since the Heresy, and some of their more interesting moments. Also, once again, shout out to my artist Alex for commissioning this thumbnail. That's some world eater, and world eater action never goes astray. Full res version is on my Patreon for free. Uh, let's get into it. Hi. <laughs> The Black Shields isn't this common universal term coined by the Imperium wow, that's to label like traders who remain loyal. Many Black Shields didn't even paint their armor black or change their heraldry, proudly displaying their legion colors as they fought against their traitor brothers. For those yeah, traitor because they had no they choice co of joining the K they legion joining chaos or not. So yeah, they still were represent. Yeah, if they yeah they were still part of you. Or name changed by their Primarch, like the Dusk Raiders who became the Death Guard. Those Black Shields would often change their armor and heraldry back into their original form such as the Dusk Raiders. However, for those traitor marines who were isolated or separated from their traitor kin, but wanted to remain loyalist, they couldn't just continue to bear their legion colors as they would get killed on sight by any loyalist force. Rogal Dawn was infamously brutal with all space marines from traitor legions, sending them to hidden prisons and having many of them tortured to death. Oh. Only the ones handpicked by Malkador were allowed to remain loyalist and in action. So to avoid this fate, they painted their armor black and removed their- That's hard though, that's like, that's like a Batman, that's like a Batman right there bro. Insignia. 
coining the term Black Shield. Some of the notable Black Shields of the Heresy include the Death Eagles, a group of loyalist Emperor's children who fought against the Black Fucks trader kin on numerous occasions during the Heresy, whilst continuing to bear the original purple and gold of their legion. However, post Heresy, due to all Emperor's children, both loyal and traitor, being killed on site during the scouring by the vengeful loyalists, in order to continue existing, the Death Eagles painted their armor black, removed their heraldry, and then claimed Raven Guard heritage. Often, these Black Shield chapters were able to speak with the Inquisition or other Imperial bodies and plea their case. Thus, their history and records are deleted or edited to protect them. A That's more dope. Yeah. Chapters with Trader Gene Seed have gone through this process, technically becoming Black Shields while doing so, although not to the same extent as the Space Marines that stayed within their black unmarked armor. Basically, they used the confusion of the end of the heresy to slip into the new Imperium. Some other Black Shield examples didn't really think that far ahead, such as the Dark Brotherhood, a Black Shield war Warband that became renegades who targeted Alpha Legion forces, with some theories claiming it was a Dark Angel veteran leading a bunch of loyalist Alpha Legionnaires. <laughs> but you could argue that these weren't true Black Shields, more so just loyalists from traitor legions that didn't want to get executed. Like he like a vigilante, bro. Know, right? He dressed like a. That's vigilante. basically what they are, though. Yeah. Dads. The truest examples were the Astartes who completely renounced their legion and heritage and would then join the war at random. Loyalist Black Shields would pop in, say good day to an Imperial commander, tell them what they were going to do to help, and then either die in battle or move on afterwards. They refused to discuss their origins or history. It would legit just be, we are offering help, take it or leave it. On the flip side, there were traitor marines from loyalist legions who also became black shields, attacking loyalists in unmarked- Wow, well, that's the bad part too. Yeah, that's the bad part. Anybody could just paint the yeah, yeah. yeah. And these warriors were ones who had been convinced of the Warmaster's cause through the Warrior Lodges, and upon learning that their legion would remain loyalist, would leave it and become renegade. Virtually all Black Shields were people who had betrayed their legion, but not all people who had betrayed their legion were Black Shields, if that makes sense. Some of the Heresy Black Shield battles. Yeah, because they really never talk about that the uh, faction that went to chaos. That like what, what happened to the people that didn't turn with them? Yeah, yeah, they really, yeah, they really don't speak on that. But I, now we getting a good grasp of what the Black Shield is and what. what what, what did they do? Through, yeah. yeah, what did people do if they if they uh, other other people turn trailer and they thought they group? Good when a group of Black Shield Raven Guard attacked a loyalist colony and killed millions of civilians. Then there was a time a bunch of loyalist Sons of Horus Black Shields stole a bunch of super weapons and then used it to kill a bunch of traitor Sons of Horus. Another loyalist Black Shield force sabotaged a Nova Cannon on a Death Guard vessel, causing it to blow back when it next tried to fire, whilst there has been sightings of warriors in defaced Night Lord's armor ambushing traitor forces. I might sound like I'm contradicting myself a bit with the definition of a Black Shield, but the point I'm trying to make is that there is no one size fits all or one exact definition of Black Shield. I mean, fuck, some Black Shield warbands began creating new Astartes using scavenged gene seed from multiple legions. Hence, there was Chimera Black Shields who didn't even understand what the fuck the Horus Heresy even was. Wow, so they, they were doing their own thing, huh? There were four distinct types of Black Shields, basically four different attitudes, that determined the motive behind them. First, there was the Death Seekers, Astartes who just wanted to fucking die whilst taking as many enemies as possible <laughs> with them. This was mostly. I guess that'd be I, a typical Warhammer pro. Yeah, because they. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like they was they, 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 they no were Yeah, they, they had no purpose. Yeah, I feel like those people right there. Loyalists from Traitor Legions who were ashamed and angry that their Primarch had betrayed the Emperor, yeah. so wanted to claw back some honor for their Legion by murdering a shitload of traitors. However, a small section of the Death Seekers were newly created Black Shields who were mentally unstable due to the weird combo of Gene Seed and Psycho indoctrination they received in their rush implantation process. Well, that can be. Then there was the Orphans of War. In a similar boat to the Death Seekers, however, instead of trying to die hero's death in battle, they sought to survive, watching each other's backs and fighting against the galaxy where they were considered. It's like a uh, Jedi of Order 68, this group right here, this Black like, Shield group. Yeah. <laughs> like a Jedi of Order 68. on both sides of the war. Then there was the Outlanders, warriors who looked at the heresy and said, fuck this shit, before renouncing all allegiances and traveling away from the war, acting as renegades who would fight or treat with both loyalists and traitors alike. Hmm. Then there was the Chimera that I discussed before, experiment new black shields who receive multiple gene seed from different legions often this would kill i don't know them how they messed insane. up off that however on rare occasion it would make them a beast absorbing the strengths from multiple legions 
Some Blackshield warbands would play some fucking Bloodline Heroes of Lithus shit, deliberately mix and matching certain gene seed to try to create Super Astartes. It usually I failed, like look but it bro. Bro. Yeah, they look it's crazy. With Blackshields being both loyalist, traitor, and somewhere in between, do they ever fight each other? Well, Blackshield lore is already obscure and confusing as fuck, so I haven't been able to find Blackshield vs Blackshield battles. Hmm. However, I can imagine that they probably would have avoided each other since Blackshields were so rare and it was never really clear exactly what right. they were. It would bring a lot of together. yeah. It, they, it's not that many of them, and they don't want to bring so much attention to, to, to like who they really are. are yeah, some people may still want to kill them. Yeah, and, and they don't want people to know who they are. Yeah. Until the shooting started. What became of the Black Shields after the heresy? After all, they were mostly just tolerated because they were bigger fish to fry. Well, it depends on the Black Shield warband. There were thousands of Black Shields. Some, like the Death Eagles, had their records sealed as they took up a new identity. Others traveled to the edge of the galaxy to live in exile. Others would have quietly joined other legions or loyalist chapters. The traitor ones would have fled into the Eye of Terror alongside the traitor legions. However, many of them actually ended up joining the Death Watch. See, the Death Watch operates on a different level to other Space Marine chapters. They literally have a no questions asked policy to join them. Hence, many Black Shields, their they basically like, uh, black and devoid of symbols, <laughs> will travel to a Death Watch base, talk to the Watch Commander, and will then often be allowed to serve in the Death Watch. Some of these post heresy Black Shields are uncorrupted loyalists from Traitor Legions. Some are loyalists who feel like they have failed in their duty, so renounce their chapter. Others are Black Shields who survived the heresy and want to keep serving the Imperium on their own terms. Either way, these Black Shields are especially reckless, always happy to accept suicide missions or hold the line. Yeah, they, their new they feel like that's the best Earth most they can do, yeah. right? Yeah. That's the bad point. Fight another day. Because it takes a shitload of willpower and strength of character to resist chaos when your chapter falls, or leave your own chapter if you feel you are unworthy, many Black Shields are absolute beasts. Not right. more than Alric appears out of fucking nowhere, clobbering Necrons with his big ass power flail. Is Captain Vigilant is the literal Grim Reaper against the town, <laughs> pulverizing their vagina heads with his Crozius, whilst others, like Hale or Janus, have interesting histories and have helped the Death Watch achieve extremely specific missions due to the knowledge they have gained from their dark past. Jeez, People look often beast. ask if traitor space runes can ever be redeemed and rejoin the Imperium, and the answer is yes. So as long as they aren't corrupted by chaos, traitor marines can rejoin the Imperium hmm. as a black shield of the Death Watch. Overall, the Black Shields are a niche but interesting part of the lore, making the heresy feel like a living realistic thing full of interesting warriors making individual choices, and how they deal with the devastating consequences of those choices. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, Okay, it is. Uh, I, I didn't know what this video is going to get to. What? Like, they like their own faction now, at, at the point because. They will. They will. They is now. Like on faction. Well, not nah, even they join the night. They're yeah, I know. Yeah. But you, they say if you not correct by uh chaos, you can join them. Yeah, the, uh, that's, that's like that, that new night watch too. They talking about the black shields. Now, I know, but they are part of the night thing. No, they, I think they be talking about two different things right there. Mm, I don't think so. I think so. <laughs> so guys, uh, that's the black shield guys. Uh, try you guys to let us know about these. I know, right? people right here. So uh, let us know, guys. Uh, also, guys, again, stop saying guys. We uh, do other things like uh, react to games, uh, Star Wars stuff. Guy, let us know in the comments if you want to see uh, anime or type of gameplays or gameplay trailers. Let us know in the comments below. Guy, let us know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button <laughs> if you uh, enjoy the video. Hit that like button. <laughs> uh, notification, share the video. And we see you guys. See you in the next video, bro. <laughs>